Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Crypto Boost. The cryptocurrency market witnessed a sharp crash on Tuesday as Bitcoin plunged $60,000 and Ethereum to its lowest levels this month. Major altcoins like Binance's BNB, Solana, Cardano, and Ripple's XRP also dipped around 7% to 10% of their value. Is this the start of a bear market? Keep watching today's video to find out. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. The crypto crash can be put down to multiple factors. A major one is the US Securities and Exchange Commission rejecting a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund, which would have seen billions poured into the crypto market. China has also ramped up its clampdown on Bitcoin mining, which helped cause the last crash earlier this year. China's National Development and Reform Commission said on Tuesday that it would consider punitive electricity prices for some crypto mines in the next stage of its crackdown. Bitcoin on Wednesday saw consolidation in sideways range as the bears managed to break the psychological support level which took BTC on a downward ride towards November low at $58,563. Later in the day, buyers tried to bring back the momentum and test the upper price level but it again dropped down to the monthly low zone. As per experts, after some recovery, investors can hope to build strong support at $58,000. With the dominance of bears, sellers can take this price down towards the $55,000 price level. Bears have also been successful to break the $4,300 support several times, marking a lowest around the $4,110 mark. Cardano can be termed as the biggest loser among the top cryptos. ADA went on to touch support at $1.83 and bounced off, which indicates that bulls are still in the control. As per experts, selling pressure is high and rising, which symbols that it may break out to lead to a major drop to touch $1.50. The dollar has been strengthening against other fiat currencies this week, but also appears to be strengthening against crypto. This is in part because interest rates are rising, which can drive down inflation. Twitter CFO Ned Siegel also made negative comments about cryptocurrency, which may have helped sway the market. He said, investing cash into crypto assets doesn't make sense right now. On top of this, there's also what has become known as crypto's natural cycle. People tend to sell their assets off when they reach record highs, as happened last week, and big sales can cause value to drop. However, plenty of analysts are still very bullish about cryptocurrency's long-term future. Dutch analyst Plan B has suggested a prior predictions Bitcoin could hit $135,000 by December is still in play. The group has found success predicting cryptocurrency growth in the past. A growing pocket of analysts are predicting Ethereum to eventually surpass Bitcoin as the world's largest cryptocurrency. I definitely think there's a really good chance for Ether to surpass Bitcoin. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened within the cycle, Rahul Rai. The co-head of Market Neutral at Block Tower Capital told Insider, Very tough to predict when this cycle will end. My take is mid next year. He added, Ethereum is trying to power the rails of all of global finance in the future, and that is a much bigger market. If it does succeed, and if the thesis plays out, then the market value is going to capture trillions of dollars in global activity. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.